so when input ac is applied here this is our input ac what kind of graph will it be a regular ac graph alternating current graph right during positive half cycle this is positive this is positive that means this side is negative so the diode that is when is diode said to be in forward bias state when p side that is this side is connected to positive terminal and this side is connected to negative terminal so this is when a diode is said to be positive uh, forward bias state right so during this cycle during positive half cycle diode is in a a diode is in what forward bias state that means current is going to go through it it will allow easily current to pass through it and you will get a similar kind of output but during negative half cycle the during negative half cycle the diode is going to be in a reverse bias state that means it will not allow current to flow through it and then what will happen we are not going to get any output then during positive half cycle will again get the output during negative half cycle we are not going to get any output so what is happening these negative cycles are getting eliminated from the circuit so this is how diode this is how a rectifier converts ac to dc this is a dc and it is fluctuating in nature it is not a constant dc it is fluctuating in nature right so that is how diode works so this circuit diagram was for half wave rectifier because it is converting only half of the cycles to dc so there must be some full wave rectifier as well yes there is so the circuit diagram of full wave rectifier will be like this there is another diode and this time we want we are connecting these two okay we are taking one connection from here and one connection from the center tapping key and we are connecting our load resistance here rl here we have our output so what is happening during this is our input ac cycle let's draw the dc output cycle during positive half cycle let's name these diodes d1 and d2 during positive half cycle d1 is in forward bias state whereas d2 is in reverse bias state so d1 is going to conduct and you are going to get an output but during negative half cycle this was initially negative for the first phase for cycle during negative half cycle this becomes negative this becomes negative this becomes positive so diode d1 is in reverse bias state so it is not going to conduct but d2 is in forward bias state that means current is going from this circuit so d2 will conduct and you will get the output again and during next half cycle the same process will get repeated so this time all the cycles are getting converted into positive cycles so this again is a positive or output dc output again it is fluctuating in nature so if we can filter it out if we can pass the single signal from the uh, uh, filter you will get a constant dc but right now this is a fluctuating dc but it is a dc so this is how so this is a circuit diagram of a full wave rectifier so this is how diodes help us to make such kind of circuits rectifier so these are the applications of diode all right so let's do a last question on diode that is on biasing just in case i want to be sure that you guys have clearly understood the concept of forward and reverse biasing of diode see in one statement diode conducts easily when it is forward biased diode does not conduct when it is reverse biased okay what do we mean by forward biasing that till this point i have told you only one thing that if you connect positive a positive part of the battery to p side and negative part of the battery to n side that means it is a forward biased true but in other words when this p part is at higher potential and n part is at lower potential that also means that diode is forward biased i am giving you four examples tell me which one is forward biased which one is not this one is connected to earth and here it is connected to minus 2 volts 
second case this is minus 3 volts and here we have minus 6 volt in third case a simple case of plus 4 volts plus 200 volts and lastly earthing and 20 volts I want you to I want to know which of these diode circuit will represent forward biasing I told you forward biasing means positive has to be at higher potential and negative has to be at lower potential all right these are the two main points higher and lower potential so compare this positive part p part is connected to 0 volt and this is minus 2 volt so actually it is at a higher potential that means this thing is a forward bias state again this p part is connected to minus 3 n part is connected to minus 6 so this side again it is a higher potential than minus 6 so this again is a forward bias state now this p part is to plus 4 volt and n part is to plus 200 which one is greater this is at higher post uh, that this is at a higher potential so this is uh, in a reverse bias state and lastly this is 0 volt this is 20 volt n part is again at a higher potential this will be a reverse bias state but if it is minus 20 then this is higher this is lower and, and then it will become forward biased right this is how you calculate the biasing of a diode